Hi, welcome to Fuel for the Fire. This word is brought to you from the Central Texas area, a glow team, and I believe from the heart of our Heavenly Father. Our word today is tenacity. I don't know if you've ever seen a dog with a bone, but the bottom line is sometimes they don't want to let go. And you know, there's a, a really powerful scripture where Paul is talking in in Philippians, and he talks about, I'm going to lay hold on Jesus for the exact same thing that Jesus laid hold on me for. In other words, Jesus and I are holding on to each other with the same tenacity and for the same purpose as God has decreed over my life. I'm agreeing with God. I'm following Jesus for the exact same purpose as he has called me to follow him in. So how about tenacity? You know, we live in a world where people just drop things. I mean, just, oh, I changed my mind. And they just drop things. You know, well, I don't like my wife anymore. I'm going to divorce her. Well, I don't want to finish this. I'll change my major. I mean, now that's not to put condemnation on anyone because there are some things we need to let go, and there are some things we need to walk away from, and there is no condemnation in that, but there are some things that no matter how hard the enemy fights us, no matter what the devil has said to us, no matter what our own doubts and fears may scream at us, we know that in the will of God, we should be holding on to that thing for all it's worth. We should be so full of Holy Spirit tenacity that no matter what the enemy does to us, we are not letting go of our promise. And some of us, let me tell you what, you have been holding on to some of those family members, believing God to save them. You haven't seen it yet. The Lord is reminding us today, be tenacious, have tenacity, refuse to let go of your promise because he will fulfill his word that he has spoken to your heart. Be tenacious today. Refuse to let go. You and Jesus will see the fulfillment of all he has said to you. Be tenacious. Thanks for joining me on Fuel for the Fire.